Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I wanted to showcase more of the local CTF, or Capture the Flag competition, that I put together as practice, as like a local exercise for my, uh, my, my school and its cyber team. So this challenge I want to show off is the brisk stroll, or uh, a brisk stroll. And the prompt is, have you seen this image before? There is no hint for this one, but the file name is a walk with the numbers.png. So you would go ahead and download this, and uh, I'll zoom out here. You'll see that it is a picture, and the ploy or the hope is that they go ahead and save this picture. And the hint that uh, have you seen this before is, hey, if you haven't already, if you if you haven't seen it, you can do a Google reverse image search to go ahead and find where it comes from. So. Uh, obviously you, I guess if you wanted to, not knowing you would want to do a little bit of steganography on the thing, you could, you could run a exif tool on a walk with the numbers, you could run strings on it, um, but it is, it is just a regular image file. I didn't, I didn't try to pull any tricks with that. However, what I did do is I added more to it. So if we did that Google image search, total fail. Um, we could upload that walk with the numbers that we just uploaded. And then it will keep looking for us, and it will note that, oh, it looks like atmosphere. Okay, there's a there's a red herring there. But pages that include this image, oh, it says binwalk for Mac and Linux. Oh, binwalk comments. Oh, binwalk for more analysis tool. Very clearly, I would hope binwalk is uh, what they would be pointed to if they had not seen this or, or have known of this tool before. So at that point, you would end up installing or working with binwalk, and I would recommend running binwalk on that file. And hey, it notices there's the image, of course. The Zlib compressed data is a fault that Benwalk tends to do. And it also sees a program in there, which is interesting. So uh, we can run Benwalk-E to extract stuff out of it. And we would run it on the walk with the numbers. And now we see that extracted folder. So we can CD into that. And it sees this ELF file. So that's got to be executable. So we could run, could run that thing. And there it is. We get our flag. USDGA binwalk is a good tool to know. So we'll submit that and get our points. And I'll show off how I actually put that together. So it's real simple. Um, what I ended up doing, for one thing, was writing out the source code for this program, which is, again, insanely simple. It literally just prints out the flag. Um, and then I think I put together a create.sh, where I would compile the file, make it a 32-bit, compile that source code, and then I'd include the image, the original image, which is just that simple picture, and then I'd include that who put this here executable that I just compiled and I just created, and then I put it in that, I walk with the numbers, uh, that I, I, I put it in that image that I would upload and use for the CTF challenge. So that's really all it is. That that executable who put this here was that source code that I would print out the flag. And the way that you can include that inside of the image is by actually catting it one after the other. Because cat will look will output these files in sequence. And typically an image viewer, once it sees the end of an image, it just goes, oh, that's, that's really all that the image is. It just displays the image no problem at all. But you can use binwalk to see, are, is there anything more inside this file? In which case, we had a complete program stuck inside the image. So that's why I wanted to introduce binwalk as a tool if they hadn't seen it before, if they, if, they, if they have not heard of it. So that's how you ended up solving and creating that one. That's a brisk stroll. And we'll move on to some more of these challenges in a future video. So thanks for watching, guys.